When it comes to the world of business, sales is your lifeblood. No matter what you sell, whether it's a product or a service, you need to make sales in order for your business not only to survive, but especially to thrive. So in today's video, I wanna show you the importance of using a CRM tool, and more importantly, to see if Pipedrive might be the best CRM tool for you. Hello everyone, Scott Friesen here at Simpletivity, helping you to get more done and enjoy less stress. And yes, a customer relationship management system is very important for managing all of your clients and potential clients. You want a central place to store their contact information, things like name and your email history and phone numbers, important things when you go to reach out to those contacts. But really, the core area of any CRM system is the pipeline or the sales funnel as we see here. You need to manage those clients from the very first point of contact all the way to the end of your sales funnel where they sign a contract or they actually purchase your product or service. So let's take a look at some of the crucial and essential features of Pipedrive. So here we are taking a look at a sample pipeline. And on the left-hand side, we are starting with our leads. This may be when someone first reaches out and fills in our contact form on our website and all the way to the right we get to negotiation started right this is when they've actually signed a deal and they've we've won the deal and we're actually going to start working with this client but of course, no one goes from the far left to the far right in just a few seconds or moments. Depending on your product, and especially on the prices of those products, there are probably several steps in between. Pipedrive makes it very easy and very clear where things are at. And that's what I really love about Pipedrive's is its simplicity. So for example, if I click on this Wayne Enterprises deal, I can see exactly how long it's been in my various stages in the top left hand corner corner, I can see the value or the potential value of this deal. I can see that there's actually two products involved in this particular deal, consulting services and webinar training here. And if I'm about to jump into a meeting, if I know that this is something I'm working on today, all I need to do is scroll down and I've got my contact information. I've got a phone number here. And perhaps most importantly, I've got an activity feed here on the right hand side. So I know when I've made changes to the deal, I know when I last made a a phone call when I made my first pitch to them, etc. And I can keep my notes right here within the deal. But of course, because it's a CRM system, I could click on Wayne Enterprises and see, is this the only active deal I've had with them or currently have with them? And here I can see, actually, I've got two deals right now. And so that's going to be important. Maybe they're two different contacts within the same organization, or maybe it's the same contact and I need to manage the conversation. I need to to manage the sales process because there are two deals. So getting back to my workflow, my sales funnel here, let's take a look at some of the other things that are staring back at us. So of course we've got our numbers here in terms of the value of the products or the value of these deals. And that's very important when it comes to forecasting. However, as any salesperson will know that not everyone who starts in the lead area is going to end up being a customer. So we can't count on these numbers here. We need to do some forecasting forecasting. So here, if I come up to the top right and hit edit, I go into my edit mode and I can just drag things around if I need to rearrange the order um, of my sales funnel. I can give things new names if I need to. But here is that probability that I was talking about. And this is really crucial when it is when you're managing your sales funnel. Typically on any sales funnel on the left hand side, you are going to have your probability rather low because only a fraction or a small percentage of your leads are going to turn into paying customers. But hopefully as you work your way through to the final stages, that probability grows. And here you can see once I've made a proposal, just from my own experience and from history, I believe that there's an 80% chance that they will actually close this deal. There's another nice feature that you can add here. It's something that's called rotting in 
days. And what that means is that I can give myself a warning if something has been in one of these stages too long. So let's say after I first make contact, um, I need to make sure that it keeps moving after three days. I don't want anything sitting here in this stage for more than three days. So that's why I've put three here. Now you don't have to give it probability and you don't have to give it in these rotting in uh, periods as well, but just some nice features here as a part of the setup. So when I hit save here, what you'll see if we go back to our pipeline is at the top, we have the probability of these deals. So for example, I can see that there's perhaps a total of 72,000 listed here within this. There might be a few other products that are added here as well, but I can probably only count on roughly $36,000 for my income or for my sale, I should say. And that's just based on history, right? That maybe roughly 50% of these deals are going to be able to work its way through to the very end. Let's look at some of the other helpful things that Pipedrive does so that we can stay on top of our sales process. You'll notice that we have a few different colors here. We've got a green icon, we've got some red, and we've got a little yellow warning sign as well. What do all of these mean? Well, the green means that I've got an activity that is due today. So if I click on this one, on this George Foreman deal, if I click on it, you can see that I am due to give my first pitch today. Now, once I've done that, once I've checked it off here by marking this little radio button, what Pipe Drive is going to do is automatically open up this schedule dialog. And this is one of those features that I really enjoy with the CRM system. It doesn't, it's not going to force me to add another activity. But again, as any good salesperson will know, you need to be thinking ahead. So after that first pitch, depending on how it went, what is my next step? What should I be doing next? Well, I think a phone call probably makes a lot of sense, but if I gave that pitch today, uh, maybe I'm going to call them in two days time. And if I want, I can see a preview of my calendar here on the right hand side. And I'm going to do that earlier in the morning. I'm going to try and group some of my calls together. So I'm going to do that at 10 o'clock. If I want, I can add some additional notes here, but I'm just going to hit save. And so now that little green icon turns to gray. That means that I have an activity coming up. I have an activity in the queue, it's just not due in the moment. So if I click on any of these other ones here, you can see, oh, my first pitch is tomorrow with this client. That's good. Well, what about red and yellow? Well, red, you can probably already guess. It means that I'm overdue, okay? I was supposed to make this follow-up call three days ago, but I haven't yet. So that's maybe where I should be putting my attention. And then when it comes to this little yellow warning icon, what that means is I don't have an activity. I've got nothing planned for this client. So I should be thinking about about what is the next steps so I can make that contact and start to push them through, start to guide them through my, my sales process. Now, another nice feature here is that we can add products so it's that much easier to add them to a deal. Why don't we open up this Coke deal here, for example, and I've already got some uh, dollar value here, but let's just say it's a, it's a dummy value. This was just an initial value that I set up with this client. Let's say that I've started a discussion with them and now I've got a better feel of what they're interested in. Well, what you can do is create products or services in advance. So when I come in here, all I have to do is click on this field and say, oh, they're actually interested in having me come and speak. That's, uh, that's really good. So I'm going to hit that as save. And now that is listed here as my deal. I've already given it a preset price. I can come in here and change that price, right? If it, differ if it differs from my standard pricing or if I want to give a discount, but you can pre-set up. Let me, let me go here to the product section just to show you. I can add additional products, give them a product code, and even a default value here. So I can manage that on the fly. So if you're needing a better way to manage all of your clients and a more efficient way to manage your sales process, check out Pipedrive. Click the link in the description to try Pipedrive free for 30 days and receive 25% off your first three months. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And remember, being productive does not need to be difficult. In fact, it's very simple.